So the graviton is the is the particle version of a gravitational wave. Right. With it's not been detected. It's presumed to exist if you look at it from a quantum gravity worldview. Okay. Okay. And the gluon is the mediating force of baryons and quarks within the nucleus of the atom. So gluons hold the quarks together. Right. And glue. Uh, it's how you can get two protons that close to each other. Think about it. They have the same charge. Right. So like they, charges what? They should be popping off. Exactly. Like charges repel. And so that is repelling from the electromagnetic force. Right. But if you get them close enough, the strong nuclear force, which is brought to you by the gluon, the strong nuclear force is stronger than their urge to separate. Okay. And it keeps them together. Uh, so what we're asking here is there, can we think about the graviton and the gluon in the way we think of as a photon? photon. So you think as a photon is pure energy, whereas the graviton is not. Right. That would be a particle. It'd be a particle. Yeah, and same with the gluon. Right. So we're stuck with the O-N suffix to the word, making you think that they, they would be the same thing. Mm -hmm. But regardless, there's a mass equivalent of the graviton and the and the and the gluon, right? There, you can always it, even if, even if it's just energy, you can figure out how much mass equivalent that is using what equation? E equals mc squared. Thank you.